Hey guys, it's Emma Johnson with WealthySingleMommy.com. And as you know, one of my passions is to get people to and save and invest more. And I believe that one of the biggest challenges of getting people to save and invest more is that all the financial products out there can be so overwhelming, so confusing that even the smartest, most sophisticated people, even people that I know personally who make a lot of money in the financial world on Wall Street are still overwhelmed when it comes to how to invest and save accurately, uh, effectively in a way. And it's ridiculous because there are so many great tools out there. It's just a matter of having the confidence to use them. One of the great tools I really love is Betterment. And Betterment is one of the leading robo advisors on the market. Uh, they've been around for a long time now. They have a lot of success. And what a robo advisor is, is a way it's actually more effective, uh, more successful than humans. They take humans out of the equation and very smart computers invest your money for you based on what your goal are based on what your uh, risk tolerance is. So if you very um, can handle a lot of risk, a lot of ups and downs in the markets, uh, you might be better off long term. But if not, you don't have a stomach for it, then you can pick a different fund with a robo advisor that's more conservative and still come out way ahead better than if you were paying very high fees with a human advisor. And that's the deal, right? It's This is all about low fees and high returns and Betterment is a great option. All the links, by the way, are down below in the comments. And um, and then we're, I'm going to walk you through it right now, Betterment. So I had written a blog post on Wealthy Single Mommy right here, a, a review, my experience working with Betterment, the pros and cons. And so you can go to Wealthy Single Mom if you want, or you can just click on that link below. And we're going to go to a Betterment. Whoa, they will tell you, you get a free year of managed services for free, right? So that's pretty awesome. So up to $100,000, uh, a whole month worth of free. And it's very, very affordable. As you see, we will walk you through it. It's less than 0.25% of fees for a year, which is just about as low as you can go. I mean, if you're going to go with a human advisor, we're talking about one, three, five percent right? Just think about that. If you've got $10,000, that's a hundred bucks minimum that you're going to be paying a person per year. And it's probably even much more than that. So fees alone speak for themselves and the results I've looked at all of their historical um, returns and they're extremely competitive. Here we go. We're going to sign up. Oh, look. Oh, Alex, he's cute. He's going to help us get a new account. So here we go. Uh, let's get started. Are you retired? Not even close. How old do I look, Alex? What's your primary reason for investing? Saving for retirement, general investing, emergency fund, or major purchase? Um, I'm going to say for retirement. Um, any of those are correct answers, by the way. Yes, I currently invest. Are you current? How are I'm doing it myself. Um, I guess I'm doing it myself, but you know what? I don't pick stocks. Don't pick stocks unless they're like for sport. I don't consider myself doing it by myself because I invest in a number of robo advisors. I have a number of ETF target date funds. That's FYI how I personally invest. Um, and so I don't feel like I'm managing it myself. Somebody else is managing these really complicated funds, but whatever. Okay, Alex, I'm doing it myself. Um, please use the toll number your household could potentially invest. Well, like today, I'm going to say, I'm going to say a thousand today. I mean, a lot more than that, Alex, but whatever. Okay. We'll use a thousand dollars. So this is, he's like my potential benefits technology. Oh, these are just telling me all the cool benefits of Betterment. So the technology that keeps me on track, I know, saves time for sure, increased tax savings. And that's something that I will help you um, understand a little bit. Uh, Betterment, one of their big perks is tax loss harvesting. And I'll be honest, I don't 100% understand what it is, but the bottom line is, is that rich people do it all the time. It's completely legal and it helps you save not only on your taxes, but it helps you grow your wealth. So it's when some, uh, stocks in a portfolio, uh, fall, which they will because every stock goes up and down when they fall, it's a way of automatically selling them off and replacing them with other stocks and then taking that loss as a tax deduction. Um, that's all you really need to know. It's a really cool thing. Not all robo advisors have them. Uh, and it's, it's legal. <laughs> you gotta rest assured of that. All right. 
tax savings, boost your extra tax returns, uh, pay low annual fee. Very awesome. And access to financial experts. And that's another really great perk of Betterment that I do like is that you can get on the phone or text depending on the plan that you have for unlimited contact with a human, right? So you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know if I should pay off my credit card debt or invest for the future, or I'm not quite sure which fund is right for me. Uh, there is a human there to help you with that. And, you know, I'm saying that the uh, robo-advisors and computers are better than humans, which is true, but that doesn't mean that there's not a very important role that humans play in the investing scene um, because we are humans and we are emotional and uh, investing is an emotional decision. I mean, it just is. You can't decouple those things. So, All right. So that's their little sales pick. Basic information. So they want me to create an account. All right, you know the rest of this here. Just pop in your business. Yeah, my assistant's gonna blur this all out. Sorry, guys. Date of birth, uh, social security number. I have to blur out my gender. So then it's talking about how secure it is. Look, these guys are on lockdown by the SEC and FCC. They're like, they're dealing with billions of dollars at this point and they don't mess around with your security, with how they manage your funds. Um, these places can't be any more secure. They're more secure than your local bank, probably. Um, it's not something that I really worry about. Okay, employment says I'm full-time self-employed. My occupation, let's say writer, I'm self-employed. Uh, my income, none of your business, uh, tax bracket, maybe hmm, something like that. Uh, are you employed or associated federal broker? No. Are you 10% shareholder for any publicly traded company? No. Have you been notified by the IRS for backup withholding? No. So, you know, it's like a bank account, really. So if you are uh, have backup withholdings for the IRS, you got to get entangled with that. So uh, security question. So let's set this up. Um what are your goals? Now let's say, so here we go. We can set up our goals. What kind of type of account do you want it to be? Now, this is going to take a little uh, education and um, I can set some links up below about what these different things are. So individual taxable account, uh, joint taxable account, so that would just be an account that is not tax advantaged for retirement. It would be sort of like just an investment account that you're growing. Maybe you're working towards a goal like saving for a house or a renovation. Um, but it is there's no rules on how much you can put in or take out like there would be in a Roth or a 401k account, which are for taxes. And there's um, just some caps and limits to putting money in and taking money out. So an individual or joint, if you're doing it with a spouse, a traditional IRA, which is a tax advantage account, a Roth IRA, SEP, which is for self-employed people. I've had those and a trust. Uh, so that's if you're moving your trust, that's a whole other thing about it's tax protected and for passing along to heirs. So it's just about picking, picking one, right? Like I am going to pick an individual taxable account. This, I'm single unmarried person and I'm going to be saving for a rainy day fund. I like to have little acorns planted all over the place. Okay. Oh, and here, what should we know about individual and taxable accounts? They've got a great information center. And that is one of the awesome things about Betterment. I don't need that right now because I already made up my mind. What will this account be used for? Uh, safety net. Continue. Uh, how many years until you need this? I'm going to leave it at three. You know, I like just to have money. It just makes me sleep better at night. You just never know. My business is blowing up right now, but I'm an adult. It could change next year. Market could change. My business could change. Uh, target amount. Let's say I want $20,000 in there. That's my goal. You can skip these, right? Like maybe you just want to get set up, get some money in there, get your head around it. That's fine too. Don't feel like you need to have all the answers. Okay. Your recommended strategy. So now they're basing this information, 40% socks, 
responds based on uh, how old I am, uh, what I want to use it for, and also how long I need this money to cook, right? How long I want it. Because if I want, if I said I wanted it in 40 years when I plan to retire, uh, it would be very different than if I needed it in three years, like I said, or in one year, if I hope to, you know, buy a house or buy a car or a big vacation in one year. So that's the thing, right? Like if you, unless, even if you're a portfolio manager, like you need a team of people like this is way too much for one person to pick all the right stocks and all the different asset classes and mid cap and large cap and foreign and domestic. Like don't try. I mean, it's great. You should know about some of that stuff, but here's my secret sauce. You don't need to know about all of it. So here we go. They say, this is what they recommend. And I can say, continue if I like it, or if I want some more options, if I'm feeling smart and want to challenge that, I can go into some other portfolio strategies. Ooh, let's see what they got. Uh, they, they're recommending their Betterment portfolio, a socially responsible investing. Ooh, I like that. Or Goldman Sachs Smart Beta. Well, hmm, I don't know. I'm going to, I have, uh, or you can design your own BlackRock Target Income or design your own flexible portfolio if you have more than $100,000. So, you know what, for the sake of um, showing my confidence in Betterment, of which I have a lot, I am going to select their recommended one. Select this portfolio. 40% stocks, likely returns in, in the average annual return is 5%, which is good. It's pretty, it's conservative, but that's fine because I don't want a lot of fluctuation for a three year investment. This is my emergency fund. This isn't my fun. Try to get rich in Las Vegas fund. Um, so the likely one where you, your return, they're averaging it between a drop of 7% and things do go up and down and 18%, which is, would be awesome. All right. Continue. Okay. Make a deposit. So here we go. All we do is make a deposit and I am going to put in 1000 bucks to get this baby going. I'm going to say one time and, uh, we're going to deposit a thousand bucks in here and that's done. So it's going to, you know, take a couple of days and it's going to be in there and it's automatically invested. Now, what else you can do is recurring. So, right, like auto deposits, right? The automatic millionaire, that book, this is how you make millions of dollars. It's not because you sell your startup or, you know, get an inheritance, which nobody does anymore because our parents live to very old and sick and they spend all the money and that's fine. That's their prerogative. But it's about automatic investing and it's not only a wonderful, wonderful, important habit to get in as an individual, but when you are making regular incremental deposits into an investment, there's something really magical that happens and you are catching the highs and the lows, right? People think, oh, if I just bought when the market's you know low and sold when it's high, hit those magical lows and highs. No, it's the slow and steady investor that magically hits these highs and lows. Their investments do go up and down, but over the course of over your lifetime, it does go up. Your investments will go up. Without fail, the stock market overall has gone up throughout its history and you will come out ahead. And that is the beauty and magic of investing. It's actually super easy. And Betterment is one of the greatest tools. So that's how to get started investing with Betterment. Now, let me just show you some of the other really cool features that they have. So transfer, right? So you can make a deposit like I just did, a rollover, right? This is a rollover. Let's go in here. This is what's really important. So if you go, you can see again, blurred out some of my investments from other accounts are connected. You just electronically connect them. And let's say that you have left one job where you had a 401k or a Roth IRA, and uh, you can roll it over into Betterment because you don't want it sitting there in that old account. You need to get out and put it somewhere. And Betterment is a really great option for that. Um, 
let's see, what are some other ways? Uh, transfer funds, wire transfer, you know, just different ways to get money into this account. Betterment portfolios. And you can also invest in external for portfolios. So that means if you want, you can just go ahead and pick other funds. So here's some of the funds that I've invested in. I like my uh, Vanguard Target Retirement Fund 2040. Um, so tar a target date fund, right? So 2040, I have two, 2040, 2045, because I figure I'll probably retire around those years. I'm 41 now, I'm born 1976. So you estimate it and then the fund and all of these smart people and all their very smart computers manage that fund based on that target date. So now when I'm younger now, they're investing a little bit more aggressively, a little bit more risky and taking advantage of those highs and lows. But when I get close to retirement age, I don't want to be messing around and gambling. And so the fund will be more conservative and taking fewer risks to ensure that I hold on to the money that I have. So that's what is awesome. Isn't that easy? It's like, I just buy that and then it's done. Like I don't have to rebalance it. I, I, I trust that, uh, the nice people at Vanguard are doing it for me. Um, Berkshire Hathaway, cause what can I tell you? Um, so this is just, you can go in there and buy some, uh, individual funds if you want that are outside of Betterment. It's just almost serves as a brokerage like Fidelity, like Vanguard, um, like T. Rowe price, right? But you're not paying those big fees. Pretty awesome. Advice. So here is where you can uh, reach out and um, connect with some of these nice people. So see, they aren't they trustworthy? They look like they care about my financial future. So that's, again, it's a really important part of financial planning. Um, this is a trans activity, right? It's just administrative stuff, record of my transaction statements, tax forms, they will come into play. Performance helps me have a snapshot. Just took me a couple of quick seconds to set up. And it really just took me like a total of less than five minutes to set up and transfer money to start reaching my goals.